Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, welcome Hi. back to our channel. Oh my God! Oh no, no, no! Welcome back to our class. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. How are you? Hi, Kaputri. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So, how do you feel today? I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing really. But, yeah. How about you? Um, yeah, I feel so good because I meet you in here. So do I. Yeah. So, are you interested in the topic? Uh, I do interested in talking about comfort zone and mm -hmm. like personal growth. So I think this is a really good topic for me to discuss with. Wow, yes. So if I may ask, are you in your comfort zone right now? Uh, I have really different definition about comfort zone though. But I, will, mm -hmm. I would say that, yes, I am. Oh, yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Danny. Daddy. You're, you're very welcome, Kaputri. Hi, Fitriana. Hello. Uh, How are you? I'm great, thank you. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm new here, actually. Oh, you're new here, so welcome. Yes, thank welcome you. To Big Zone. I actually have one of my friends here, but I'm not sure if he's already in or not. Uh, his name is Rahmat. I'm accompanying him, and he's the one that introduced me to Bridzone. Oh, where do you uh, live? Actually? Thank you, Rahmat. Hello. Thank you, Rahmat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I live in Otista. Where do you, what, what about you? Where do you live, Ma Putri? I live in Tangram. Oh, that is my friend, Rahmat. He's the one that introduced me to Bridzone. Oh, Rahmat lives in Tangram? Uh, <laughs> Rahmat lives... Hello, Mbak Putri. Yeah. Nice oh, that's you. Rahmat. Oh, that is him. Thank yeah. You Thank you for um, asking Fitriana to join us. <laughs> yeah, you can call him Dose and uh, feel free Dose. to call me Jessica. Jessica, okay. Yeah. Where do you live, Mbak Putri? I live in... She prefer... Uh, yes. Oh. I think he's lying. Oh, oh, I live in Autista and Daus lives in Manggarai. Ah. Yeah. I, it's actually my first time and it is, I think today is his second time joining Bridgestone. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious and I think that this is such a really great community. So thank you yeah. so much for having me here. Yay. We're so happy to have you here. Yay. Thank you, Jessica. Yes, nice to meet you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. All right, so should we start, Babetra? Sure. All right, so yeah. All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Bridgestone Tuesday class. I hope all of you are doing fine and thank you so much for joining for joining us this evening. Well, before we start the class, perhaps we should give the other participants a few, a few more minutes to join. But now we're gonna start. So I will give you uh, several announcements as usual. Please bear with me for a few minutes. Okay. For those of you who don't really know Bridgestone, um, Bridgestone is a nonprofit organization focusing on English education and young empowerment, which is powered by so many inspiring committees and conductors who are all volunteers. Bridgestone is also an open platform from, for everyone from various backgrounds. Um, you can just join us to practice. Well, Bridgestone is also free of charge, but we are also trying our best to make Bridgestone a place that is free of judgment. All right, yes. We have several classes. Our main program consists of three classes a week, which is Bridgestone to stay class. It starts at 7 p.m. It focuses on public speaking, such as debate, speech, interview, etc. 
So today is Tuesday class. Well, we have also Wednesday online class. It starts at 7 p.m. We touch all four skills in English through class series, like listening, speaking, reading, and writing. We have Saturday online class. It starts at 11 a.m. We bring various topics for, sorry, for weekly talks to encourage your speaking. All right, we have several social media. We're on Instagram at Bridgestone ID. Please follow us on Instagram. We're also on um, YouTube, Bridgestone English Community. Please subscribe us. And also you can also check out our um, website, Bridgestone.id. We're also on Facebook and Twitter, but our main platform currently is Instagram. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. All right. Okay. Uh, Bridgestone has been uh, supported uh, because we are as a nonprofit organization. We have we have to raise funds to keep this organization going. So we have Busy Merch and Busy Mart. But right now, Busy Mart is unavailable because of the pandemic. So please check out Busy Merch. Okay, you look at that. We have so many new arrivals. We have um, antibacterial three-ply mask. You can all you can buy on Instagram at Bridge on Merch. We have clothes and also lanyard with limited time design. So check out Bridge on Merch Instagram. All right, so. Okay, Bridgestone has been supported by the Library of Education and Culture Ministry for years. You can find so many books and audio collection there and they are available online now. You can check them out on Instagram at Perpustakan Dikbud. Bridgestone is also supported by Tara Atmago. Okay, uh, Atmago is a social network application in Indonesia that helps people to share neighborhood issues with its campaign, Warga Bantu Warga. It's available on Android and also on iOS. So make sure you download this application because this is very beneficial for all of us. Well, at the end of the class, we have a tradition. We take class photos and you can also give us feedback because your feedback is uh, really matter for us. You can visit bit.ly slash bridge on virtual feedback. All right, thank you so much for listening to the announcements. So we're gonna start the class. So today class is very um, insightful. Uh, I'd like to introduce you, but before that, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Putri and I'll be your MC for the next 25 hours. Ah, sorry, not 25 hours. For the next one and a half hour. Okay, I'd like to introduce you to our conductor. She was, she is a former biology, biology teacher. She's very amazing. And what I love about her is she is so passionate in learning and she is a lifelong learner. So please welcome Katirin Rizdiani. Yay! Well, hello everyone. <laughs> Good Hi, evening. Ka. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully you are doing well, everyone. And thanks a lot, Putri, for your kind words. And it's such an honor for me to be here. Thanks to Bridgestone for this opportunity. And yeah, basically, Putri already like um introduced me like who I am before. So, uh, I was a former biology teacher before this and right now I'm going to share you about my like learning section of life especially about the comfort zone so hopefully when we do this sharing session we're going to have like something new and probably we can challenge ourselves to be able to get out of our comfort zone and expand it so without further ado, we're going to start. Yeah. 
would you mind to share the presentation? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys can. Yeah. Can you see the presentation, guys? If you can see it, you can give the thumbs up. <laughs> Because we're gonna do this for like 25 hours ahead, like Putri said before. So are you ready, guys? <laughs> yeah, you can Yay, prepare. So ready. <laughs> so you can prepare your coffee or your snack. It's okay for me. Just being comfortable with yourself. And probably you can give it to your friend. Probably you can like exchange your snack to your friend next to you. <laughs> Okay, then I already told you before, my name is Christina Gustina Putri, but my mom used to call me Ririn. If you ask me why on earth you call Ririn and not Riris, I don't know, since that my mom gave me that name. <laughs> so you can call me Ririn or Riris, uh, as long as you don't call me Agus, right? Even though it's on my name. <laughs> and then my hobby is reading, writing, sightseeing, and doing the volunteering, because I'm going to share you a bit of my roller coaster journey of my life after this and you can like hit me up on the gmail on through the email or through instagram probably you want to share this class in your instagram story that's okay you can tag me too <laughs> okay then we're gonna start as the starter we're gonna have a pop quiz. Are you ready, guys? You already learning and studying before? It will be a pop quiz today. Yes. Yes. Nice. Or no? Oh yes. Oh, you're so ready. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna have this question for you guys. So you can access through the menti.com or you can check your chat box. Probably the committee already shared the link to you. And we're going to see. This is your first challenge, guys. Today, I'm going to challenge you a lot. Also for myself, <laughs> actually. So can you see the link? Is it already there or not yet? Yeah, or if you can't find it, you can go manually to menti.com. Then we can use the code. It's only like 25 questions, guys. It's so easy. <laughs> no, 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 not 25. It's only two questions, actually. Okay, then we're gonna see your answer. It's two question. Basically, this question is gonna relate to our topic today. Um, probably after this, our um can help us with the live count of the answer afterwards. Have you answered it, guys, or you still think about it, like? Do I have a future dreams or goals? And am I ready for this to take my first step out of my comfort zone? Or um, let me think first. I just want to like let back and relax since we're still in this situation. So yeah, I'm gonna think that later on. Okay. If you already take the test, probably you can say yes or probably you can give your thumbs up if you don't want to open your mic or you still do the quiz probably it, this it is does, the easiest it doesn't do anything oh can Just, you access that i okay, click yes I, I can submit then nothing happened mm -hmm. yeah is it oh. like only, only thank one you. question thank like, you for uh, your participation it's oh it's it's only one question yeah because uh on my screen right uh -huh. It's only like, are you ready to make your first step? And that's yes. it. Oh. And then I, and then oh, I take skip it. question. Yeah, is it only supposed to be one question or there are three questions? It should questions? be two, but it's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, guys, can we go to the live culture of the answer? We're going to say that. Or well, then you guys got the yes. easiest one because you got only one question. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, then we're gonna take a look. 
Okay, so while we're waiting for the results, so basically, what do you think? Do you have uh, future dreams or future goals? Is that okay? We have to wait. Yeah, probably the Mentimeter is tired. Okay, for the results. Okay. Or anyone want to share something while we're waiting? Do you have any future dreams or goals? You can open your mic and you can say what is your future dreams or future goal. The simple one. It's okay. Like, I want to have a fit body after this pandemic over so I can have not six pack, but ten pack. Probably, who knows? Ten pack. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We have to maximize our. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I think that that's all. Okay. Like would like to share about. Oh. Yeah, dreams. yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Hi, Nada. Yeah, please. <laughs> Hi. Actually, I cannot Hi. open my camera right now, so. That's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um okay so my future goal is to be a notary public and it takes actually um, let me count four to six eight oh around nine years of studying before i can get the um the license to open my own office so it's mm -hmm. still a long journey for me since I just entered the second step. <laughs> and yeah, I think actually I plan um, for mm -hmm. around five years later. What do I want to do and what do I need to do to reach my goal? So that's it. Thank you. Wow. Oh, thanks a lot to share. Guys, please give a, a round of applause for her. Probably like virtual applause, that's okay. <laughs> Yay, thanks a lot for sharing. Oh, okay, I believe that. Canada. Yeah, thank you for the real clap also. <laughs> okay, then. Then we're going to go to the next slide. I believe that all of you have a really interesting future dreams and goals. And some of you, have like very specific way like Nada did before, like how many years I will get there and then etc. What do I need to improving my skills and others? So basically, I just want to ask you guys another question. So like I said before, I'm going to challenge you as much as I can. <laughs> so who want to share what is your personal description or what do you think comfort zone is? Anyone? You can say it through your mic. What do you think? It can your own, like you want to describe it by your own. That's okay. What is comfort zone? Since everyone know about this term, right? So what do you think? What is comfort zone? Yeah, me, 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 me. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, uh, so comfort zone to me is a situation where you feel safe and secure about yourself mm -hmm. when you think that I can do this and I can do that without mm -hmm. any challenge. So yeah, you feel, okay, this is nice for me. So if I go out, it feels like insecure, unsafe, mm -hmm. dangerous and else. Wow, great. Thank you, Sir Dichi. Wow. Can we give him a round of applause too? <laughs> Yay. Cool. Yeah, that's so cool. So guys, that really can describe what is the comfort zone is. But if each of you say that we have to get out of the comfort zone and we have to leave it, actually, we have a better understanding to what is the comfort zone and not like, we're leaving it 
time, but like expanded. So without, um, we are like, oh, I have to leave it behind and then I just forget about it and just moving forward. Actually, when you're moving forward, you're expanded. And then before we take a look at this video to help you to understand the comfort zone better, probably you feel like that too. Probably you have the situation when you have to encounter new people like today. This is your first step to come to Bridge Zone and that's good. We can give you all a round of applause, guys. You made your first step to move forward, probably to meet the new people, right? That's good. Or you want to learn together. That's also good. So we have to like trust yourself and believe that you can do something better than before, at least one step in a while. So now we're going to see this video. Hopefully can give you like insight about what is your feeling about comfort zone or about your situation. Okay. Yeah, there's a dragon and a knight. <laughs> Okay, set up. Can you hear the sound guys? This is me. And this is my okay. room. My room is my protection. I feel safe in my room. Nobody can hurt me. The comfort I feel in my room, I cannot feel anywhere else. My room gives me security, peace and control. It is my castle and I don't need to be rescued. I feel happy, surrounded by its walls. Step out, it's hard. I know it is good for me, but I feel vulnerable. I don't have my shield with me. Anything can happen. Everything looks risky and stressful. When I leave my comfort zone, I enter in the unknown zone. And this place is like a dragon that wants to eat me. I know my comfort zone is very limited, but I cannot see walls. I don't see a closed space. I see myself away from everything and safe. If nobody can reach me, I cannot be hurt. But I know this is not good. I have to break this zone and step out to show myself I can do it. I have to try to push and expand my comfort zone. I have to beat the dragon. Because the unknown will become known and my comfort zone will grow. Okay. Thank you. So, after see this video, does anyone want to like give their own opinion about these videos or probably it relates to your condition nowadays? The dragon can represent anything in your life, in your relationship or professional life or like your adrenaline or something you want to try. Probably anyone want to share about your dragon story attacking your comfort zone or probably you can give the comment about the video itself. Yes, anyone? Yes, come on, everyone. <laughs> it's a speaking class, so... Hi. Yes. Hi, Andikara. Hi. Uh, yeah, I mean, Hello. I can relate. To, uh, yeah, I totally can relate to the video. I mean, by joining this session itself, Hi. I already stepped outside of my comfort zone because I, I'm not really a shy person. I just have this nervousness when it comes to, like, social setting. So I try to participate in as many virtual meeting as possible and yeah I'm sorry I'm, I'm just nervous right now. wow amazing <laughs> oh it's okay thanks a lot you have the courage to like you say something from your mind that's really a big step for you and give you a round of applause for Andy guys all right guys Thanks a lot for coming. Thanks a lot for giving your opinion. That's a good way to start. See, everyone has their own dragon. Is there anyone 
who has another dragon. This is not dragon from like Game of Thrones or from Harry Potter. Yeah, Goblet <laughs> Fire or something else, guys. If you wonder what kind of dragon is that, yeah, probably you can have your another dragon. Is there anyone? Like another one? Uh, may I? Sootless, yes. Sootless sure. is a very brave. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It's me or another participant? Yeah, it's you, Karam. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> for me, the dragon is, yeah, uh, represent ourselves, even though we are the extra part, we, we also have our dragon too. Like, we to offer reacting, even we are, because we are uh, extrovert. So no matter if you are introvert or extrovert or ambivert, you always have your own dragon. And the matter is we have to control our dragon to be beneficial for us. That's from me, thank you. Wow, thanks a lot, Karamda. That was very well put, yay. Thank so you. yeah, that, that's true. Everyone has their own dragon in any kind, any shape. And then, yeah, we have to like try to conquer it and tame it day by day. Okay, then we move to the next slide. Yeah, I just want to share a bit, guys, about my dragon and my roller coaster journey of life. <laughs> so I just want to share you like there is some of... um several zones in my life and probably your life too because after this we're gonna like checking our lives so which zone am I like today yesterday or tomorrow so basically I started from the university since in this uh, stage I also have experience um, on my last year of in university I have experience to be a part-time librarian at a coffee shop so if you wonder a librarian in a coffee shop, are you kidding me? No, because this coffee shop has a library. So I'm being a part-time librarian there. Meanwhile, you can imagine, you can try to use your imagination. Meanwhile, there is a barista and they roasting the coffee bean. And also we have a very good meal. And then for the music, we have a jazz music there. So you can imagine, probably you can say, wow, this is a very good place to start with but it's not as good as you think. But I learned something from that place. Also, at the same time, I work as the assistant teacher at primary school. You can wonder, primary school, a very cute student, right? From grade one. But mm -hmm. I also teach from grade one until grade six as assistant teacher at the same time. So at the same time, I work at the um, coffee shop as the part-time librarian and also uh, as assistant teacher and at that time I also try to make money to support my study at university to help my parents also and then I got the offering from the school like oh would you mind to continue the next academic year with us so you can be our homeroom teacher and also you can start with us but at that time I haven't finished my thesis so <laughs> My final assignment still, yeah, you know, sometimes the biggest dragon we face as a university student when you have the final assignment to do, right? Like we kind of, yeah, we say that, oh, the lecture is busy and stuff. So we keep like, yeah, probably, yeah, next time, like, next time. And then I realized that I have to finish it. So people say that why you are like throw away your opportunity to work at that school it's a private school it's quite good they say and then I also resigned from the uh, coffee shop as a librarian because I have to finish my study so I choose my study over my work even though I can yeah I already have my own money at that time but I feel that I have the responsibility to finish my study first and then I also have the responsibility to my parents so I choose that so that become my turning point. After I graduate, I got the better place to work. So I got accepted in uh, one of the private school in Bandung as a biology high school teacher. So basically I work there. And when you see that, that is my comfort zone. Then I work, since I work 
at that school for five years and I felt like, oh yeah, okay, I think I can manage it and I have a good friend there, even though I also have some kind of challenge, but I try to, okay, I will stay here. And then, of course, as you know, not every day full of rainbows <laughs> and sunshine, right? And suddenly, yeah. yeah, right? You can relate, guys. And suddenly, if you can see the picture, you see Jakarta full of gray color. Why I put it that, <laughs> like that? Because, yeah, I thought, oh, guys, I have to come out from my comfort zone and I have to move to Jakarta. So the reason why I have to move to Jakarta is because, yeah, I have to get married and then I have to follow my husband to Jakarta. So I have no other choice, even though my friend said, no, just stay here. Don't move. We can work here or you can ask your husband to move here. But they didn't know that I have another challenge. So I have to move. And then I think at that moment, I still in the like stages of, oh, okay, I want to try to know Jakarta. And as you know, from Bandung to Jakarta, there will be a culture shock, of course. <laughs> and then I just knew first is the weather and then other time is the condition and the traffic and the traffic jam and the people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and then I, I just started to, oh, God, oh, there's so many things to do in Jakarta, right? And then another challenge is I still haven't got a job there. So for me, as someone who always like trying to active in organization and stuff, I felt that, oh, if I just stay at home and I'm just like doing, yeah, something like host course, I didn't say that it didn't important. It's very important. I, and I really appreciate all the housewives in the world. But at that point, when I'm still like 20 something, I think I want to achieve more. And I felt like, oh, this one, I cannot grow more. And I try, I think I have to challenge myself. So I joined some organization. And if you can see that there's volunteer life, why I put why there, not I. <laughs> because I really enjoy volunteering. So I wrote it live. <laughs> It's not that too much because I love to meet other people, networking, and learn something new. I didn't say it easy, no. It really a struggle for me to know each other and know a new person. As I'm going to say before, there's introvert, there's extrovert, and ambivert. I'm kind of ambivert, but actually I'm recharging myself in like when you are alone at home. So... At that time, I can relate to that kind of point. And then I got a chance to work in another private school in Jakarta. And I'm back to the zero point. I mean, like, I've started over again. Like, you know the song, I'm going back to the start. You know that, time, that song, right, from Coldplay. So I'm going back to the start. And I'm trying to challenge myself, learning, because this school has different curriculum. Yeah, I love that song. Yeah. Oh, we have another Coldplay fans here. <laughs> yeah. So basically, when I work at my uh, new place, so I have to learn like new curriculum and then I have to know another teacher. It started again. And then, but I have another struggle. So that's why at the, after one and a half years, I just um, resigned from that school and I try to, oh, okay, then probably I can try something new. So now I'm going to freelance live, but I'm kind of embrace another option that an opportunity that came for me afterward. So that's about my life. And then I think we can try to relate it with, yeah, the next slide, please. Yeah, this one. So basically what I told you before, it's in this zone. Probably you can relate with your condition right now since actually we have four zones that it always happen in our life. So the first one is the comfort zone. Like Sir Dickie already told us 
told us before uh, at the beginning that it is the safe and in control situation, or you can call it a routine. So if you wake up and then you're going to work, and then after that, you're having lunch with your friends, and then after that, you're going home, and then you take like Gojek or you take Transjakarta and whatsoever, and then you're going back home and you laid back and probably watching Netflix while you're oh. sip- <laughs> <laughs> while you have your snack, yeah. <laughs> Or, or you, you have your watching the, the streamings. Yeah, or you watch the stream, anything you want to do. And every day the cycle, they like that. I didn't say it's bad, no, but it's our comfort zone. It's a safe and in control situation. It's not bad. Everyone has it. And then second one, sometimes we have to challenge ourselves in order to have personal growth. So we... we go to the fear zone. So in this fear zone, if you can read from the diagram, sometimes we felt like we lack of self-confidence and then we tend to be affected by people's um, opinions. Like, hey, guys, I want to I wanna try um, to be more fit this year. So should I join the gym? And then your friend just said, oh, no need to. You're already fit. It's okay. See, right? <laughs> Sometimes I need to say that you, you, all of your friends like that, but I'm sure that you have that kind of friend that always like, ah, oh, no need to. You can do this. It's okay. We can be happy and like feel healthy, probably. Or probably you want to learn, uh, wake up in the morning since you are not a morning person, or you try to drink lots of water since you don't like the taste of the water one of my friends did that then he hates mineral water he hates water he said what should we drink water it tasteless and then he chose to drink coffee every day i never saw him like drink water (laughs) i don't know but yeah it's his choice hopefully he's getting better and it's okay with his body so this is the fear zone when you uh, make excuse like, oh, I want to get up early, but I'm still sleepy. Then I turn off my alarm again. So it happens all the time, right? And then we try to move to learning zone. In this learning zone, this is the place to gain new skill and experiences. Like probably you are going to a new community like today, you're joined Bridge Zone. We're so happy that you're coming here. And you decided to meet new people and also decided to learn something new. You challenge yourself, probably you want to improve in your English with a new friend. So you come to the right place. Am I good for the ad libs, prison committee? <laughs> so after that, you can go to the learning zone. Yeah. So basically, yeah. you increase your knowledge. <laughs> I'm promoting, I'm promoting, I'm trying to, guys. <laughs> so, and then you acquire new skills and you deal with challenge. So um, if I give you the example like before, like if you want to challenge yourself to wake up early in the morning, then you're ready to that. Probably you put like not one alarm, probably two or three alarm, or even you ask a favor to your family member, please wake me up. And if I didn't, please just throw a bucket of water to my face. Probably, probably, I don't know. You want to try that. In learning zone, you try to. So basically in this um, learning zone, you try to expand your comfort zone and you are in the process to grow. And then last one, finally, after you can overcome the challenge and situation, you can go to the growth zone where the uh, new goals and you can conquer the objectives and you can find your purpose. And also you can have probably new goals and new dreams. So you have a new mindset and then you think that, oh, I can overcome this. I already becoming a morning person or uh, right now I can drink like eight glass of water, eight glasses of water every single day. So that's good. It's a growth zone. And you have to make a new 
new target, new purpose, like new goals in front of you. But if not, then you come to another comfort zone. But when you see, you have moved from the one point to another one. So if you move to growth zone, actually you have another comfort zone, but it already expanded. So that's a good job. And then you have to start a new one. So that's how we learn from every kind of thing. Okay, guys. Um, can we go to the next slide? Okay, so the key is, I found this quote, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So basically something that challenge your life, it actually really change you in your mind or probably in your characters or probably in your professional life. It can be in any kind of like, part of your life so if it doesn't challenge you then it doesn't change you so yeah that's the part of it yeah okay guys until this part um probably anyone want to ask a question before we're gonna have group discussion uh may i yeah sure Okay, uh, first of all, uh, first of all, thank you, uh, Karin, for your uh, explanation. Mm -hmm. I want to ask about, as we know, there's a fixed mindset and growth mindset. Mm -hmm. And the question that I want to ask is, if we have a growth <laughs> mindset, it's, it's, it's trigger us automatically, automatically go, go, going to uh, comfort, sorry, uh, going to trigger us to growth, growth zone or or not or or it's automatically trigger us if oh, we if you, have a growth, growth mindset oh if you already have a growth mindset yeah oh, okay so basically that's a good question thank you ramdan so basically if you already have this uh, growth mindset you can check it are you still in like a challenging time or you already overcome that if you already overcome the challenge that you already in the growth zone. But if you still have like growth mindset, I think like uh, probably I can give the example. Oh, I want to wake up early in the morning, but you still face the challenge and you still haven't wake up early at that point. Mm -hmm. Then you still in the learning zone. So mm -hmm. that's the difference. If you already like overcoming that challenge, then you already in the growth zone. Let's say you already wake up early every single day, then you already in the growth zone. So basically, yeah, that's a good question. The growth mind is also you have that I have intention to do something better. That's the growth mindset. So that is my yeah. point of view. Hopefully, can answer your oh, question. Is that clear? Okay, yeah. Thank you for the question. So, guys, yes, uh, we're move to for the... me. thank you, Karirin. Yeah, you're very welcome. So, guys, we're gonna go to the you're form welcome. discussion group, and then I have uh, two questions for you. But before that, I also want to announce you guys that I have a giveaway for today. So, I have two books. Hopefully, that can help you guys to um, improving your personal growth or help you to build a new habit probably one of you want to start reading or something I have two books uh, one of the book is the art of being brilliant but it's in Indonesian person it's already translated by Gramedia so this one is a book okay I want to tempt you guys so you want this book <laughs> And another one, I have uh, Marley and Me. Probably some of you know about this book. So this is a good book. Uh, it's how about like a cute little puppy can change uh, a family life and then they learn something from it. Yeah, that's from me. And then, yeah, we're going to start the firm group discussion. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Karirin, for the 
for the amazing presentation. Well, this is the first time we have giveaway. Our conductor is very generous. <laughs> I, I think she has thousands of books, so yeah, she give us away. <laughs> All right, so we go to the FGD station. Hi, Tra. Okay. Hello. Uh, all right. So first of all, we'd like to introduce you to our facilitators. Okay. Maybe the first group is Friday. Hi, Friday. You can unmute yourself. Hi. Hi. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. I'm ready. You're always ready. Thank you. The next facilitator, the second group is Rama. Hi, Rama. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Are you excited uh, to do the focus group discussion? Of course, because there is a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you can't. <laughs> but you can't totally get it. Us. It's totally triggered. <laughs> <laughs> After this, Karirin will give us each okay. book. <laughs> All right. And the next facilitator is... Mbawid, what are you? Hi, Mbawid. Hi. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you. you. I'm good. Thank you for becoming our facilitator. Okay. okay the next facilitator is Riska. Hi, Riska. Hello. Hello, Hi. everyone. Hi. I think you really want that book. <laughs> I do. I do. I just say that at the first time I saw the book. But well, unfortunately, it's for the members. Or I will give to another participant, I guess. Okay. You're so kind. All right. And the last one is King Arif. Hi, Arif. No, it's, it's Rama. Hello. Rama, Arif. No, it's Rama, yeah. Rama's oh, Rama. here already. Okay. So you already have five, though. Okay. So you're just being a king in here. All right, so <laughs> maybe Karirin would like to discuss now. So we go to the breaking room straight yeah. away. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go guys to the breaking room. Bye everyone. We'll see you after 20 minutes. Can you drop the screen please? Or you still use it? Sorry? Friday? Pardon? No, no, no. Uh, I asked Friday to, to, to drop the screen if uh, Ririn doesn't use it anymore. All right. Yeah. For the main main room, right? Yes. Okay. For the better look for our YouTube viewer, right? I think Friday is in the breaking room. Oh. Maybe, maybe a little bit first. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, that's better. Okay. We still have okay. members in here. Is that yeah. okay? It's okay. Maybe I'll go to the, the breaking room. How many time do we have to, uh, for the breaking room for the FGD session? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Awesome. 30 minutes. All right. Cool. All right, Karirin. Hi. How do you feel mm -hmm. after finishing your presentation? Oh, um, it's relieving. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you guys can catch the uh, like highlight. Rami, sorry. Yes. I Rami, got... you should go to the breakout room. <laughs> sorry, yes. I got con bad connection. Could you please uh, send me to our group? Oh and, sure. Uh, maybe maybe you can you can go out. And after that, you can uh, come again. I will remove you. Okay. So I should leave. Yes. And after that, and after that you should uh, go back again. Oh. Reynolf say in the chat box, "What about me?" I think he wanted to. You should. You should. You should uh, accept the breaking out room. Okay. Yes. Reynolf, would you please accept the? Breaking room invasion. Yeah. 
All right. Which one? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. One yeah. more. One more. No, no, no. It's. Oh, uh, Anton good. is Karen's yeah. husband. Yeah. Oh. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's the name for the another account, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, Karirin, <laughs> how do you feel wow. about what's your time? You did a great job. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Thanks a lot, guys. It's also because of you guys. It's such a teamwork. I'm so honored being here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, our, our class is 12 sit tonight. And mm -hmm. cool. there are 50 people participating in this wow. class. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah the full yeah. capacity should be 60. But yeah, yes. it's not like... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's close. <laughs> yeah. Close yes. to 60. But, but, but do we try, uh, would you want to tell us uh, how many viewers on YouTube right now? Currently oh, one. Thousand. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> 1K, one K, please. Yay. Say hi to them. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Hello. And that's my account. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, you don't know. YouTube. It's me. It's my account. <laughs> you know, oh, sometimes you need to. Sometimes you need to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I anyway, talking about uh -huh. talking about comfort zone is really, uh -huh. you know, interesting for me uh -huh. all my always, life always. because um, yeah, yeah, I have to battle with my comfort zone and talking about the dragon that we have in our lives. I feel like the dragon is myself. Mm. My, biggest, my, mm. my biggest enemy is actually me, my yes, heart, yes. My, my mind, my, yeah. my body, my condition, whatsoever like that. Sometimes mm. I feel like I want to do something, but something inside me, they scream out loud like, You look exactly that. like the dragon. Yes, like <laughs> it sounds like Smeagol. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Do you have any um experience battling with yourself, battling with something that is that actually yeah. doesn't exist? That is actually you. Mm -hmm. uh, Who wants to answer it? Oh, me. I think oh. she she has told about it hmm? about, in her presentation. Sorry. Yeah, about how you battle yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh. You have yeah. a problem, but actually the problem is that it doesn't exist. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I've been in that situation. Actually, I'm an introvert person. So if you see me nowadays, like today, it is not the same reason as before. Because I will not have the courage to talk in front of <laughs> lots of people. Like only like, even it's like five people. I will not be <laughs> that person or as a speaker. So basically, I'm a very um, introvert back then uh, until the, I think until high school. And then after that, because uh, I joined one of the community, the youth community, and I got the opportunity, apparently my friend want to challenge me and want to challenge myself since I also being afraid to do the public speaking and stuff, or I felt like, what am I going to say to other people? What am I going supposed to do? <laughs> and then how if they like been interesting or they like just silent and then after that they throw away and then they said, oh, you're not good. You're not fun. And I, I, I felt that myself oh, like uh, like retracting me to do something new. So what Trash said before, that's correct. The biggest dragon we face, we have is ourselves. So basically, I try to conquer it and I have personal battle with my inner dragon. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then finally, um, after my friend challenges, uh, how have you been an MC for um, our event? on like youth community like for like 20 people i said what are you sure <laughs> um you are uh, really sane right you are not under like <laughs> something influence you right so yeah, that's the first time like i yeah the first 
time I try to challenge myself mm -hmm. in like um, public speaking kind of thing. And then mm -hmm. later on, since I also being a teacher, then you be a public speaker on the whole day. Yeah. So <laughs> basically, yeah, it kind of prepare me to, yeah, kan? so probably it, it, it kind of like uh, prepare me to another level to prepare me to be a teacher apparently. I don't know, probably like God already have planned for us. So mm -hmm. I think everyone have their own experience with their inner dragon. Yeah, wow. something like that. That's really inspiring. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but I think I should inform you, uh, Ka Friday, inform uh, me that uh, Asto's room has no facilitator. What it's... happens? Why? I mean, Ram you divide Ramdan them is into, there. Like, five oh, Ramdan years. is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ramdan is there. So, okay, okay. Yeah, it's fixed now. You sure? Yes. All right, cool. All right, um, maybe I want to share about me fighting my own dragon. Am I allowed mm -hmm. to do that? Yes, you do. Yeah. But sure. <laughs> you, are, you are very, very alone <laughs> to do that. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. <King. clears throat> All right, so I think um, when I uh, watch that YouTube video that Karirin uh, suggests us to watch, it's really relatable for me. Because I think I always uh, stay in my room. I can even lock myself in my room for three days because I really love it. I really love my comfort zone. So it's really um, relatable for me. And I think my biggest dragon was how I deal with uh, procrastination. <clears throat> I Yeah, I, I always, um, you know, procrastinate when I want to do something I delay it for hours because I I kind of have negative emotion towards the task that I that I I'm about to do so after I read something about stoicism do you know do you guys know about stoicism what's that it's like a philosophy in psychology so yeah so it's basically uh, the reason why we procrastinate is because we have negative feelings towards the task that we are about to do so we have to you know uh, eliminate those negative feelings you we have to believe in ourselves that we can do it and it's not um, complicated so it's basically about our mi mindset once Again, it's about mindset. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's my biggest dragon. Thank you for listening. Wow. Thanks for sharing, Putri. You're very welcome. Wow. I know. So uh, I know. I know Putri has um, passed through a lot of hard moments, hard things. And I think um, to get out of comfort zone for Putri is not really hard. I mean, <laughs> you already <laughs> passed, yeah. you know. Happy to hard happy. moments in your life, right? That what makes you stronger, actually. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. King Ari, if you haven't told about your dragon, my dragon. Yeah, <laughs> the dragon probably is. Yeah, you. <laughs> probably, I I prefer to call dragon. it devil, not dragon. <laughs> oh, devil! That's better. Whoa! You know what? Actually, another um, level. <laughs> no, um, no, no. To be honest, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really think about a comfort zone back in my mm -hmm. own life because um, I, I was kind of person who didn't really um, care about. I mean, what happens around me, what happens around me back mm -hmm. in that time. I mean, uh, the, the term of comfort zone that um, that relates to me is when I, when I, uh, when I, when I'm here in Bridge Zone, you know. Since uh since the first time I, I joined this community, I felt like I feel like um this is my comfort zone. I didn't know I I I didn't know what to do next in my life. I mean, um I I am very comfort in here in Bridge Zone um because I can get a lot of things, a lot of new knowledges, um new friends, right? So, mm -hmm. but since I joined this community, 
I begin I begin to think about my dream that I uh, that I, I already gave up before before I joined this community. So, um, you know what? Joining this community uh, has triggered me to um, to fight that comfort zone. I mean, uh, I was not really sure about myself back when I haven't joined this community, but now um, a lot of things encourage me in here in the zone to get out of um, my comfort zone. But I don't really want to get out of this zone because I, I, this is my <laughs> my comfort word. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, well, actually, I have I have a question for uh, for Ririn. For Ririn, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Um, so, how bad do you think that a comfort zone can be a barrier for people to achieve their dreams? I mean, um, I call a comfort zone a a good bad thing. You know, it's a bad oh. thing, but it's good. But it's good. It's yeah. a bad thing actually, but feels good for people to, to uh, who feel safe in it. I mean. Mm -hmm. It um it denies people to uh, or it keeps people to um to to challenge themselves to uh -huh. to to battle uh their dreams right to get or uh -huh. to to get their dreams. I mean, uh, what kind of motivation that people need uh, to to make them sure they have to get out of their comfort zone to um to see more things to achieve to see uh, their dreams to achieve. Uh, do you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. So. Okay, so, thank you. Thanks a lot for the question, Adam. That's a good one. So I feel like first I have to say that actually comfort zone is not a bad. Um, we cannot say that oh, a comfort zone is a bad place to start with. No, yeah, yeah. because we have to think from the other perspective. I mean, like, uh, I said before that actually every single day we are trying to expand our comfort zone it doesn't mean that you stay at that area for that long even though you say that oh but some people probably they are very comfortable at their comfort zone right now but the fact is the comfort zone they are right now is the expanding zone from the previous comfort zone they have before so I think if you are right now um, at the university or working, so actually your comfort zone already expanded, whether you realize it or not. So if your question is uh, what kind of motivation that helps you to come out from your comfort zone, actually the motivation can be anything and anyone since everyone has their own motivation, right? So. Yeah. Let me give you an example. For someone who wants to start a healthy lifestyle, probably they have their own motivation since, oh no, I think my weight right now is not healthy. I think I have to do something. So I want to fix my eating habit. I want to start an exercise. Or probably your best friend told you something good. Yeah, sometimes we tend to like avoiding someone to say something bad to us, even though their intention is good. For example, your friend knew that you are a night owl. You tend to sleep after 12 p.m. Mm. because it's so <laughs> nice to watch like Netflix or you do like gaming or other stuff or probably probably unite all because you think your ideas will come easily at night but it's not good for your health and your friend best friend know about it probably your friend told you that and since you know that your best friend has a good intention probably your motivation is oh yeah probably I can hear his or her suggestion and then at first probably you didn't do that for yourself probably for other person so for the motivation it can be anything and anyone and the most important thing is how your first step after you felt motivated because it will be like nothing if you say to yourself okay i have to do the exercise starting tomorrow and then tomorrow comes and then you say oh i cannot do today because i think I am tempted by Indomie goreng. So I, <laughs> right? 
That's Arif. Oh. Oh. Me too. Oh, sorry. That's for me. <laughs> right? Yeah, but that's good. Yeah, and I, oh, I think I'm going to start it tomorrow. And then, yeah, it kept like that. And then you cannot stop the, um, you cannot overcome the challenge. Mm-hmm. And I think the most important thing beside the motivation is your first step. How mm-hmm. to break out that boundaries and yeah. like just move a little step. That, that will be okay. Uh, that's from my point of view, Arif. Hopefully, I can answer your question. Yes, it does. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of the first step that we are taking, mm-hmm. um, sometimes when we do the first step, we are full of energy and mm-hmm. we are so eager to reach the top. Mm. So, but when we are in the middle, we kind of demotivated and yeah. we lose all of the hope. So, how can we stay uh, on the track? Oh. oh, thanks for the question. Yeah. Another great question. Thank you, guys. You are so <laughs> amazing. Wow, I wonder, is that already prepared that question <laughs> for this question? No, it's oh, a spontaneous okay, okay. question. Oh, that's good. <laughs> So actually, yeah, that's a good question. So how we keep motivated, um, like to keep our goals and our first step. Yeah, we tend to be a very um, energized or energetic, like at the first month of every year, like, you know, like every December we made, oh, I will do this and that for next year. And I will promise I will do this. And it, yeah, it works for January. And then February, you already <laughs> forgot everything, right? That's also yeah. happened to me, right? That yeah, I read good. Yeah, right. High five, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, yeah, everyone can feel that. So basically, what keeps you on track is yourself. I mean, like looking back at what you done this why you have to done this so if you remember that it's hard i didn't say that easy for me also it, it's struggling but when you remember like your first intention your first motivation and you promise to yourself try to be to your promise just once in a day i mean Oh, I will keep my promise for a whole year. No, yeah. I don't think so. Just okay. like keep your promise for tomorrow. And then just do that once in a day. I mean, like if you have to promise to read like 10 minutes a day, that's okay. Keep 10 minutes. Okay. You yeah. have to make a achievable goal. I yeah. think mm-hmm. it's very reasonable. Mm-hmm. Like don't say like, I'm going to read the whole book for two days. <laughs> Meanwhile, the book is 1,000 pages. Welcome <laughs> to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's not um, achievable, right? Like, oh, two yeah. books. And then three books. No, no, no. Just like 10 minutes a day. No matter how pages you read, just like try to achieve that only a day, once in a day. And then yeah. I think... You felt like, oh, it's easier if I'm only think like it's only for one day. Don't mm-hmm. think like oh, for the whole year, for the whole month. No, yeah. I think we have to make it achievable and make it easier for us because our brain tends mm-hmm. to give up when yeah. we face <laughs> the hard situation. Yes. And then, yes. oh no, I think Indomie is my friend. I cannot <laughs> unfriend with Indomie. No. For 12 years? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> For 12 years? Sure. For my whole life. <laughs> For Yeah. Since I'm also a big yeah. fan of Indomie, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but now I realize that, oh, okay, then I have to remind myself that mm-hmm. you have a better option. Yeah. So, like... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> we have another competitor here. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Different Are concept. We... <laughs> Are we allowed to say the brand? <laughs> oh my, um, my bad! Oh my gosh! That's okay. <laughs> but that's fine. Okay, okay. that's fine. I mean, 
they can they can hear us, right? So yeah. they could and they will notice. support us. See? Okay, yeah, that's what Aris I think. will be the next brand ambassador, and <laughs> Trastu will be another brand okay. ambassador uh-huh. yes, for that brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's what. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's from my point of view, Putri. That's very comprehensive. Thank you, Karirin. Can I can I also give my opinion? Sure. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, we have to um yeah, it, it's related to motivation, right? Or to uh, mm-hmm. that makes our inton- intention strong and stronger and stronger. I mean, um <clears throat> step stepping out uh, of comfort zone is not an easy thing to do. It's not a uh, very easy thing to do. We have to make ourselves like um, stronger mentally, right, and physically as well. I mean, if you find if you if you face the difficult situation in the um, in the next step or in the future, it will. Um, I agree with Rene. It will um, make you. Uh, it will make you to give up, right? Because um, that's what our brain says, right? <clears throat> when you feel the difficult mm-hmm. situation. But I think if we make our intention um, a little stronger. And we we already find the motiva- our motivation, our strong motivation to step, uh, to keep stepping. I, I think it will be a um, it will be a good thing for us to keep moving, keep moving, and not not going back to to the comfort zone. So we have to make our intention stronger. I think that's. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I agree with you. As long as you didn't stop at the second day or yes. third day. Yeah, just skip pushing. and make sure, and make um, yourself pretty sure that you have to be sure. If you um, if you are stepping out of your comfort zone, you have to be sure. You have to be sure of yourself um, that you can do this. Mm-hmm. Once you step, yeah. uh, when you step uh, your feet out of your comfort zone, uh, you have to deny yourself to to get to go back to the uh, to the, to the comfort zone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's that's well, the part speaking, of yeah. yeah. That's the part of fear zone. The the mm, fight yeah, or flight action. Whether you fight mm. or flight, when you flight, flight, you go back to the comfort zone, and when you fight, mm. you move to the learning zone. So yeah, that's cool, Aris. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we maybe um, I want to talk about the comfort zone, fear zone, learning zone, and growth zone. Mm-hmm. Uh, can we be in a growth zone for a long time if we, you know, have been successful in controlling ourselves? Yeah, that's a good question. Thank you, Buti. Mm-hmm. So basically, growth zone, after you achieve something new and you overcome your situation it can be your new comfort zone in a good way okay in a good way since like you already like oh okay i can master this new skill let's say uh you are now join martial art Hmm. probably you join martial art like yeah you can name it like uh probably yeah taekwondo or (laughs) Yeah, or, or Muay Thai or something. <laughs> oh, is that is that? Oh, okay. I just knew that Kuda Lumping is a new martial art. No. <laughs> Probably everyone want to join that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, let's say you have mastered the martial art, and then right now you have the ability to defend yourself. Then it will be your new comfort zone in a good way. Since you have expand your comfort zone, right? So it's a new comfort zone. So can you stay there? Of course, you can stay there. We we can call it a growth zone. So basically, if you see the diagram, the growth zone is where you achieving objective, self confidence, make you dream. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't setting a new goals or finding your new purpose, then it's gonna stay as a comfort zone. Oh, and you will you go back. Zone. Yeah, but in okay. a good way. In a good way. Comfort mm-hmm. zone. Yes. But if you, yeah, yeah. If you want to say something, it's okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, just continue. <laughs> okay. so, yeah. Yeah, so so basically, if you already master like um, new skills and then you in the growth zone, that's good. But as human, 
we tend to challenge ourselves whether we realize it or not. Hmm. Even though you say no, I'm such a yeah, I'm just Howard. doing yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think I I will try another martial art like kuda lumping or whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> and since you mentioned it before, <laughs> I think I'm enough with Muay Thai or Taekwondo. Oh. Let's say something like that, right? Cool. But then probably you have another goal in mm-hmm. another things like oh probably I want to challenge myself to join Master Chef next year. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. I want to learn cooking, and my biggest goal. Yeah, you can put your dreams as big as you can, as high as you can, but to make it achievable, like you have to read, to do that step by step each day so i think the growth zone can become a new comfort zone if you didn't have like new purpose or new goals and then it's gonna stay there in okay. a good way yeah but if it stay too long and then you're gonna start it over again from that point not mm. back at the beginning so it's different yeah. so actually you always moving forward that's wow. what i'm thinking about wow Wow! Very, very thank you. I'll I, say, you know, brilliant. from your explanation, I, I I begin to think just now, just now, mm-hmm. I began to think oh. that you so begin to keep, think. Wow! Yes, I begin to think that to keep um um to keep uh keeping my comfort zone to the next step every time I step in. I mean, um, once you step out of comfort zone, we will face the fear zone, as you mentioned earlier, right? Mm-hmm. The fear zone. Yeah. So we can make that fear zone is our new comfort comfort zone, right? So yeah, you have the thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, you already it. moving forward. That's good. Uh, and we should make it as our new comfort zone and keep uh and for the next step uh, what is gro- the growth zone? Learning zone and then learning zone. zone. Yeah. Yes. So in in that uh in each zone we have to make it as our new comfort zone, right? So we keep we can be we can be successful in uh while we are s- still in our comfort zone, right? Yeah. Thank you. It's, it's, oh. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Your explanation is so motivating. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, you're very uh, welcome. Have you moved from your you, Have you moved <laughs> from your comfort zone? I keep, I keep being in my comfort zone, but as Rurin uh, mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. I keep moving forward. But I keep uh-huh. bringing up my, I keep carrying my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, they're back. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. So, how was the discussion? Hi, Wulan. Hi. Yeah, that's good. Hi, Wulan. Uh-huh. Hello, everyone. Okay. Hi. Welcome back. Everyone. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. We're in the middle of talking, yeah. and you're getting me here. You know. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Oh, sorry for that. We're not even talking. We're talking. We're talking previously. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Turn on your camera, Asto, please. Yeah, please, Mr. Asto. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, come on, Asto. We, we want to see your professional look. Oh. Your podcast. Oh, you sound professional. Of the microphone, the camera, everything. Come yeah. on, come on. With the complete equipment. He has it. Oh. Show us yourself, Senor wow. Asto. Hey, guys. Guys, please attention, guys. Uh, okay. Best MC. Thank you, Friday. All right, so... um. After doing the focus group discussion, so uh, we're gonna um, have you here to represent your team and do your presentations about uh, what are you talking about in the focus group discussion. Well, I will call the uh, facilitator first, maybe from Friday. Hi, Friday. Hi, Putri. How, how is the discussion? Well, it went well. So mm-hmm. well. So well. Oh, you're so, <laughs> so excited. Everyone was talking because everyone was talking. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, although the, uh, uh, some of us 
uh, are being uh, were being nervous but mm -hmm. they really expand and grow mm -hmm. their comfort zone and they are there to speak they are brave to speak oh, also, awesome okay so who do you want to choose to represent your team okay uh, maybe i will choose hey yourself uh, I, I challenge my team to uh, raise your hand if they want to okay yourself. friday's team please raise your hand if you want to talk <laughs> come on we'll okay, give you the best they're opportunity just <laughs> they're just being shy okay so i will okay. just uh, one of them <laughs> okay <laughs> kamanda are you ready to be our representative kamanda. Uh, okay I will okay I, uh, Thank you. I will give you two minutes from now so so speak split clearly and fully. Uh, so our group discussed plenty of things about the biggest challenge uh, to step out from our comfort zone and also how we overcome those challenges. First of all, maybe I'm gonna start from Kanurul. Her biggest challenge is actually the, the, the fear of being judged by other people because she wants to start regarding her business and she tries to be, you know, open to advice, feedback and suggestion to other people. And she advised us not to listen to other people's thoughts. And we just have to be confident to step out from our comfort zone. And also we have Ka Ayub who presented his thought about um, if we want to come uh, step out from our comfort zone, we should be brave and we should engage with our people so our mindset can open, so we can broaden our perspectives. For example, he recommended us to join communities to help us gain more insights from other people. And also, I couldn't remember the name, but I guess it was Kak Shukri. And he pointed out that his biggest challenge was his fear. When he was about to graduate from his university, he didn't have any idea about what he was gonna do after he graduated, but um, he, he tried to be more optimistic. He tried to be confident. He tried to overcome his negative and insecurities and try to be positive and just live the life and enjoy the process. And the other one, we have Ka Ferdinand, Ka Fernandez, I'm sorry if I misspelled the name. Ka Fernandez, uh, had a little trouble when he was about to graduate from high school. He told us that he was a kind of lazy student before he graduated, but he eventually changed himself. He wanted to be better. He wanted to graduate. He wanted to su succeed in his final exams to enter his university. And also, Ka Florencia, he's, mm -hmm. uh, she stated that she is, um, she is passionate about singing, but uh, mm -hmm. She has a lot of challenges to realize her, to develop her potential. But she uh, says she recommends us to keep, uh, right, uh, to keep practicing, to keep developing ourselves to become better. And for myself, I try to be more confident when speaking uh, in, uh, in front of other people, especially in such forum where there are so many people. And I fear that I might not be able to present my points well. I'm I fear of being judged because of my bad grammar, but Eventually, I, I improve myself by speaking, and it's actually a good thing, and I'm very relieved. That's all from our group. Wow. Oh. Give it up, everyone. Wow. Thank oh, you so thank much, you. Thank That's you. impressive. Yeah. You remember Great. all of the stories. Wow. Okay. Um, Karirin, do you want to respond to Amanda's stories? Or yeah, we can okay. go... Yeah, okay. a bit probably. Thanks a lot, Amanda. You did great. And I really appreciate that you say that you have the challenge to appear to speaking in front of other people. And then right now, today, yeah. at the Bridgestone class, oh. you did it very well. You step up from your comfort zone. So I want to give wow. you a big round well of done. applause. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. For your appreciation and for your kind words. Yeah. Thank I think you. you can be the next MC for Bridgestone class. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> You'll take over my job. Yeah, That's yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you, Amanda and Karirin. Okay, we go to the next group. It's Rama. 
Rama. Yes, Putri. Okay, would you like to choose one of your representative? Well, um, Andika, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Go get those books, Andika. <laughs> Go get yeah, those books. C is oh, doing yeah. the, I, I thought Kasiti is doing the um, presentation. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. It's, it's no. very useful. I don't want to steal yeah. your thunder. <laughs> 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 it's your time to shine. <laughs> okay. You have two minutes from now. Um, yeah. So basically based on what we discussed earlier, um, everyone has their own... Um, challenges like um, for me um, I have I have problem with con being consistent and then um, there was uh, this one um, challenge regarding speaking English with like flu uh, with fluency and then um, was it uh, oh um, overthinking and people's judgments um, people's opinions and then um, there's one challenge um, regarding how to move on from the past. Yeah. And then, yeah, so basically all these challenges come from within ourselves. Okay. Yeah. And then the way we overcome this, um, we actually have um, interesting um, ways to overcome these challenges. Um, I myself, came up with you know we just have to force it just have to like just go with you know being consistent in terms of being consistent you just have to go and force yourself into doing things that might be you know it might get hard in the you know in the uh during the process but you just have to step up and just do it and then there's one um way using the to-do list okay so um basically put um the first uh, task that is most urgent, most um, important, mm -hmm. and then um, similar to to-do list is the SMART goals. I forgot about the uh, the the abbreviation of what SMART goal is, but okay. uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, basically that is our um, result from our group discussion. Wow. You spent two minutes. All right. Wow, Andika, that's impressive. Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing you so much. about your uh, group story. Okay, we move on to the next group. It's Karam. Hi, hi. hi Karam. Hi, hi. Who do you want to choose? Yeah, uh, I want to choose two representatives in my group mm. because uh, very special mm. in my group. The first one is Tiara. All right. Okay, Tiara, are you there? Hi. Are you talking about Tiara? I'm talking yes. about my biggest challenge is mm -hmm. um, public speaking. Yeah, uh, so talking about my biggest challenge, uh, yeah, talking in public is uh, really my biggest challenge because I'm always over, overthinking that um, mm. am I do something right or am I talking with a great content or I just talking about shit and or etc cetera, etc cetera. and uh, how do I overcome? Um, honestly, I'm still struggling. But joining this community, especially the speaking class, is uh, my effort to exit from my comfort zone. I take um, step by step and uh, when I feel tired or I feel I incapable, so yeah, just take a deep breath and uh, go the next step and yeah. Uh, so, uh, and I think growth begins when we accept our weakness, our flaws, so we we always want to learning, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So at the end of the day, we can overcome our dragon. 
Yeah, that's uh, great. Thank you, guys. We are proud of you, Tiara. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Very great. Okay. For, it's still half one represent from my group, or it's enough from you? Mm, yeah, I think we run out of time. So sorry. Oh, okay. But yeah. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, all right. Good day. Yeah, we'll have another session for the QA. Yes. Okay. We move on to the next group. It's. Sorry, it's who's the other facilitator? Bawiduri. Hi, Bawiduri. Hi, Putri. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, for our group, uh, we already decided uh, that Jessica will do the presentations. Okay. Come on, group. Come on, Jessica. Oh. Go get the book. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, um, good evening, everyone. Good my name evening. is Jessica. Yeah, my name is Jessica, and I was in the same group as Maui Duri uh, with the rest of our team. And we discussed about our comfort zone and the challenges and how we actually overcome them. Um, actually, there was this very interesting thing that I discovered when we were discussing this topic. So one of the member, oh, like some of them mentioned like how they have this difficulties in public speaking and not exactly public speaking, but like presenting themselves in, in the middle of the crowd or in the middle of a big project or mm -hmm. Not, not to mention a, someone, but just like doing something, a project or a work or something, they have struggles with that, even though that might be something that they are really good at, right? So what we discussed and I shared them, my point of view that hopefully will, um, will encourage them in one way or another is that how to overcome the obstacles is trying to acknowledge the thing that will keep you moving that will make you keep moving forward even though you might need help guidance you need a friend ask for their help ask for their guidance you might need a book or a trip to some place that will motivate you do that right and um you might feel scared along the way and in the middle of the in the middle of your journey you might feel like um you might not actually make it but the big step is actually to start doing something out of your comfort zone and you've done that and that is a huge step and the rest will take time and I was so proud that I can meet them here and they were able to share their their experiences the thing that bothered them and to be honest to even share those experiences the thing that bothered them in the first place I think that is a huge step in them getting out of their comfort zone mm -hmm. by being here and we applaud each other when we were in the discussions and we appreciate each other's, um, you know, sharing about their challenges or the thing that they're scared about. And I really hope to see them again tomorrow or probably next week or the day after tomorrow, maybe. Um, yeah, so I was really glad that um, I can hear about the things that troubled them and how they really want to get out of that that is a huge step for me wow wow yeah <laughs> yeah thank you thank you thank for you. sharing jessica what a great accent with america with american accent wow. yeah it's so great yeah, yeah well you know the accent baby with an american accent <laughs> yeah, yeah well, well, american i'd always prefer american, american accent than british i mean it's hard i think i spend more time watching friends than harry potter <laughs> <laughs> yes her accent is good her accent is good you know? oh i'm God. happy to um to talk and meet you all guys here and i have my friend too here that's why i'm here and talking about a comfort zone i'm mm -hmm. accompanying him to actually be in the middle of a community his mm -hmm. nose rahmat Right, um, so I hope that I, uh, I can bring him to um, our meeting again tomorrow or next week. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, we move on to the next group. It's who's the next facilitator? Riska's group. Riska. 
Okay, we yeah. have a really good discussion and it is funny that I relate so much to most of the participants in my room. <laughs> Yo, quitting the job in the pandemic squad. <laughs> Marisa. Yeah. We all did. Yeah. Okay. To choose. I think uh, Yustika. Yustika. Ah, Yustika. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, thank you for the opportunity. So, basically, we have discussed several um, issues. Uh, mainly about the um, quitting the job during this pandemic. Yeah, we got some of uh, our members who quit their jobs uh, during this pandemic. And also we have um, someone who um, needs to change. Like she needs to uh, learn more because she apparently needs to work from uh, one department to the other, which is not... Um, which was not uh, her expertise. But yeah, uh, we discussed um, some points about uh, biggest challenge to step up of our comfort zones. Mainly it's about our self-discipline. And yeah, <clears throat> because most of the time, most of us um, tend to be like, um, not really strict to ourselves, but we can be strict to others. So yeah, that's, that's uh, the biggest challenge for us. For us and how to overcome the challenge in order to grow and expand the comfort zone. Um, some of us set the reminder, for example, uh, me, myself, I set the reminder of uh, learning the new language for, for like 15 or 10 minutes every day. And also um, some of them say that they try to be creative, to use their time, to manage their time and then try to find activities which makes them um, which makes them grow um, yeah which may which improve themselves so yeah I think that's it from our group all right well I'll give it up thank you so much Kaistika okay I think all of the representative has um, represented their, their team okay. Now I will give the time for Karirin to respond. Okay, thanks a lot, Putri. And all yeah. the representatives from all groups, I really appreciate you guys that you elaborate so much uh, from your group. And I just want to add that it's a good way for you guys. You already step out from your comfort zone and you try to expand that comfort zone. And I want to add something too, like Jessica said before, it's about your friends. So we're often influenced by the five people who you spend the most time with. So think about whether your friends or family members are hindering your growth and having an impact um, on your mindset. So basically, who, who is the person always around us all this time, sometimes they also influence us to make a decision. And of course, the decision to make a difference, to come out from your comfort zone, it also influences you the most. So mm -hmm. I really appreciate all of you guys who come today and you already like being so open to say about your biggest challenge or your inner dragon, whether it's yourself or situation or friends. And I really want to give you guys a big round of applause for all of you here. Also for the comedy, of course. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Hi. Thank you, Karin. So ha have you decided who, like, who's going to win the book? Oh, my God. It's so hard, actually. Should I, <laughs> I want to give for the five representatives each one a book if I could. <laughs> Should we mention them now? Or um, later on? I think later on. I okay. have to do the brainstorming with the comedy also. Oh, so right. <laughs> just stay tuned, guys. I will inform you. Go, go, Tiara, go. <laughs> <laughs> From number two group. Yes, it's hard to two. choose. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah. You can go on, Karirin. Okay. So, this is my closing statement. So probably we can go to the next slide. Next slide. Okay. 
So yeah. So basically, this is uh, from my point of view. Probably you can do this, or some of you you already have your own formula for yourself how to push your limit. So this is a um, simple step to push our limit. Number one, you take the first step because no matter how good your motivation in your mind, but if you didn't take the first step, then it will be nothing. You will stay at the same zone. So challenge yourself to take the first step. And second one, put yourself in a new environment. Like today, guys, you made a decision. We're so grateful that you're here with Bridgestone. This is your new environment. If you are the first timer here, we also welcome all of you guys that hopefully you can join with us in the next week. And yeah, probably this is your new environment to grow. And then the third, don't pick the safe choice. So probably we always do the same thing as a routine because we don't want to challenge the reality. We think, oh, probably if I pick the new things, I will fail or people will not like me with what I said. If you are trying to be honest to other people, since you always do the something like yes man kind of thing, but you want to change it and become honest. So probably you can start it from today. And the last one, create challenge to push yourself in areas you want to improve. Like I heard before Yustika say that she learned new language that a new challenge so everyone can try there any kind of challenge you want to try so learn new challenge or learn a new martial art probably or learn to cook and other things that probably look simple but that's a new challenge and of course what doesn't kill you will make you stronger so yeah i believe that everything that doesn't kill you actually help us to improve ourselves to make us stronger So that's for me. Thanks a lot, wow. guys. Wow. Thank you so much, Karirin, for conducting today's class. It's really inspiring. Well, before we close our class, um, I sincerely appreciate your attention for today's uh, class. And thank you so much, Karirin. It's really inspiring. And yeah, eye-opening discussion. Okay, to end up, I will give the... Um, summary everyone has their own inner dragons it comes in all shapes but if your dragon is you're afraid of judgment so please you're always welcome in bridge zone because we are free of judgment thank you yeah. so much for coming today yay, yay. Thank you, everyone. Let's, let's take awesome. a photo <laughs> i think there's still another uh, yeah. presentation there's another okay. slide oh, yeah. and yeah Oh, wow. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm to too excited. To... <laughs> uh, we can go to the next slide, Friday. Oh, wow. So we can skip these videos. And yeah. yeah. So basically, this video is about the senior members in Japan. So basically, they challenge themselves. They become a designer with a very, a very great new style. And then one of them said, at my age, Everything come to a stop. Doing new things gives me a boost. So it kind of also motivates me since they are senior citizen, but they still challenge themselves. So hopefully all of us will gonna challenge ourselves to become better day by day. And then the last slide, please. And I will close it with one quote. You have to learn to get comfortable being uncomfortable. You have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone and push your limits. Once again, thanks a lot, guys, for joining our session today. It's an Thank honor you, for everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for, Thank you for coming. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, You're so kind. Okay. Now let's Thank you. take a picture. Okay, yeah. guys. Picture, yeah. Right? Try to pose, everybody. What pose we should try? Okay. okay I will. I will do uh, Arif pose.
Oh, Don't good. show your uncomfortable face. Okay. Okay. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank you. I will count. Wait, wait, wait. Please not You're chat ready. because it's popping up. <laughs> it will it will ruin the aesthetic. Three, two, one. Again, 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 again. We want more. Chat. Do not we chat. want more. Do not chat, guys. Please do not chat. Do not chat because it is too so Again, 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 again. I don't know what, uh, which flat you are in, but mm -hmm. everybody just. Keep trying to post one, two, three. Mm. One <laughs> last time. One, one last time. One last time. One last time. One, two, three. Is it seriously over? I'm tired of smiling. <laughs> <laughs> right away. Thank you guys so <laughs> much. Thank you guys so much. Thank you everyone. Thank you like that. Thank you everyone. 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 Thank you Thank you everyone. 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 Thank in the next mm. seven days. Yeah, Goodbye. and we'll announce the giveaway. Don't yes, leave us, yeah. everyone. Yeah. We'll let, the, let the admin remove you. Yeah. That's it. Bye. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. bye. Have a good night. Be careful. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. 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 Facilitator and bye. Please do not leave. Okay. Don't yes. you leave. Thank you, Rahmat. Bye, Thank Astro. you, Astro. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. Like, I don't want to leave this group, you thank know. Thank you, thank you. You don't want to leave? Okay, just stay here until tomorrow. We <laughs> can oh we have, yeah, 25 hours ahead. Yeah, <laughs> we still have tomorrow's class. Join us yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, we do it. Yeah, you can do this uh, loads. Zoom. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs> bye. Stay safe, too. Melina. Thank you. you. Stay yeah. safe, everyone. Stay safe and stay healthy. You too. You too. Bye. 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 B